In the modern political history of Zimbabwe, there have been few periods as transformative and worrying as the current era under President Emerson Mnangagwa. The trend of familial power consolidation is unmistakable. With Umingagwa's family members continually being appointed to significant positions. This not only indicates an increasingly centralized power structure but also poses a direct challenge to the opposition and the military. Demanding proactive actions to avoid repeating past mistakes. 1. The nature of familial power consolidation. President Umingagwa has clearly shown his intention to consolidate power through family appointments. The appointment of his son, David Kudikwash, as Deputy Minister of Finance and his nephew, Tungai, as Deputy Minister of Tourism, raises doubts about the legitimacy and objectivity in official selections and undermines public trust in the government. 2. Changes in the Armed Forces Umningagwa has also made notable changes in the armed forces. The appointment of Lieutenant General Anselm Sanitui as the commander of the Zimbabwe National Army. Replacing Lieutenant General David Sigok indicates Umningagwa's intent to place close allies in leadership positions. This not only raises questions about the professionalism and independence of the military but also creates uncertainty within the armed forces. 3. The Rise of Sean Umingagwa Another significant development is the promotion of Sean Umingagwa, another son of the president. Currently a major, Sean is expected to be promoted to lieutenant colonel following his military training in China. This demonstrates not only a favoritism towards family in military personnel selections but also raises concerns about the future of military leadership in Zimbabwe. 4. Government silence and lack of transparency. The Umningagwa administration has shown a surprising level of silence and lack of transparency. When questioned about the changes, the Zimbabwean army spokesperson and the Minister of Defense refused to comment. This not only fosters speculation and suspicion but also shows an unwillingness to share information with the public. 5. Challenges for the opposition and the military. The current situation demands the opposition and the military to wake up and take action. Both need to recognize and resist the centralization of power in one family. Their voices are not just about protecting democracy but also about upholding the principles of rule of law and fairness in national governance. Conclusion and Call to Action We are witnessing alarming shifts in Zimbabwean politics under President Umningagwa. Familial power consolidation is not just a challenge to opposition parties and the military but also signals an increasingly opaque and centralized government. What is urgently needed now is strong resistance from all sides, demanding transparency and fairness in governance. Only then can Zimbabwe avoid the mistakes of the past and move towards a future that is democratic, fair, and prosperous.